I was held in isolation in county jail maybe nine months. I don't, I don't know the exact figure. I was in isolation for six months. So i say five months and two weeks, most of my time in county. Tens of thousands of young people all across the United States every year are charged as if adults held in adult jails and prisons. Many of them are held in solitary confinement to protect them from adult prisoners or simply to punish them. You're alone and just have nothing but your thoughts. You start talking to yourself, start doing some embarrassing things like drawing on the walls with various body fluids and um, basically provoking others just to have an argument, uh, just dumb stuff, you know? The youngest person I interviewed was held in solitary confinement beginning at age 13. Being held in solitary confinement means being alone in your cell for 22 to 24 hours a day. I wanted to get out of there. I felt like I wanted to die. I felt like I wanted to hurt somebody. I just wanted, I just didn't know how to process the feeling of being by myself without no positive human contact. Kids in particular need a high level of interaction with adults, responsible adults, and with other kids. And we have to find a way to keep people safe without isolating them. It changes you, it hurts you, it makes you depressed, makes you want to act out, makes you angry. It's, it's no rehabilitation. Youth in solitary are also prevented from uh, regular programming, including education, um, including recreation. Um, in many instances, they come out only to shower and then only a few times a week. So um, the lack of social stimulation, um, the lack of uh, real meaningful any programming, be it mental health program or educational programming, is devastating on a developing youth. Kevin DeMott is a young man who was identified as having bipolar disorder at a young age. He's been in and out of solitary confinement since he was 15. He would get better for a short while, but they came to a point where they had him locked in solitary for 30 days, and this was right at Christmas time. And he was so severe that they were using gas and pepper spray on him. At one point, he was strapped down and restrained for 72 hours straight and injected with medications. I have to question why those kinds of things are going on for treatment for our mentally ill. It hurts children. It devastates their growth and development. And for the mentally ill, it's even more devastating. This is a bad, bad practice. The solitary confinement of young people should be banned. Young people should be held in specialized juvenile facilities, not in adult jails and prisons. But regardless of where they're held, children should never be held in solitary confinement.